This video is sponsored by Christoph Ray for excellent little poly horror games. Check the link in the description below for some of his works. What's up, y'all? Boogie Knight here, and welcome back to Absalom End of Gods. We've had a very interesting first episode so far. We've come back as some person named Alice, wound up in a facility known as Borkor, res resurrected by a demonic GLaDOS, discovered that we might be taking things from the Norse gods, as the sigil was any evident. Uh, went to Helheim, got our arm ripped off. Well, supposedly Helheim, I'm guessing it is. Um, that's what they've alluded to. Came up with something called Yarngraper, which we could do all sorts of things with. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm digging this so far. Hope y'all are as well. Um, it's funny, interesting, speaking of Yarngraper, I did a little bit of digging, and Yarngraper is actually the name of the gloves that Thor wore. Um, hang on. Um, okay, cool. So we can now use Young Graper for various items, um, including reading these door I'm sigils. Right. I'm looking for that finger. Uh -huh. These breaks are getting far too frequent. The roots are spreading faster. Please hurry. I'll oh, show you all the things that. you need to know. Okay, well, that's a look at Young Graper. Anyways, Young Graper was the name of the gloves that Thor wore, um, I, uh, allegedly because nobody can actually access Mjolnir, um, his great hammer. Why is my... Me up by sensitivity here. Bear with me one second. It's just up to 85. There we go. Um, which was why you always saw him wearing it. Nobody else could use Mjolnir when um, he was not. Um, so yeah, so we've got quite a few things, and digging this so far, hope y'all are as well. So, we are supposed to access- Can you hear me? Yes. Good. You can hear me as long as our radio can reach your Bifrost system. Oh wow, look at that, that's awesome with the ladders. Graphics in this are great, um, only minor glitchiness, um, but that's probably attributed to my computer and less towards Unreal. Um, I like the enemies that I've seen- is your first obstacle. A service hatch that can usually only be opened from the inside, unless you're an engineer. However, young Graper can open the tunnels in an unconventional way. But first, you need power. You should find an atrium upgrade in a nearby room. Uh... Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, so we can't hold on to it. Can't do anything with this, but we're looking for atrium. Okay, so in here. Yeah, this looks safe. Oh, hang on, what do we have here? <clears throat> that right there is a small atrium cell that can power the arm. Insert it in the arm, get back to the service hatch, and fire a burst at it to fire yeah. the lock circuits. Nice! And don't forget to refill your power oh, to okay. the power station on the wall before you move on. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. I can dig that. Is Can we... See, I just saw... That is so cool how we can rotate stuff around that open it. That's brilliant. Um, That's a long way down. And when they keep talking about the roots spreading, I'm... Since we're sticking with the Norse lore, I'm gonna go on a limb and say they are talking about Yggdrasil. Um, I'm not really sure if Yggdrasil... What the hell is on that side? Something's happened. Okay, so let's go and do a pulse. What? Okay, so do we do this as a fill-up joint? Okay, so I guess it's only one pulse per um, thing. If you collect enough upgrades for Jan Graper, you can activate the weapon inside it. Something's going on outside. Um, sorry, I'm a little distracted. The lack of sleep is coupled with stress in my computer being pretty well fritzed. Not always the greatest of things. And above you, there's another obstacle you can overcome with Young Graper. Use your sight to find the ladder's control panel. Aim at it and fire a directed burst to lower the ladder. Oh, that's cool. Ah, I can dig that. Okay, so we can do a recharge per um, cell. So I'm guessing we have to gather more Since atrium Young cells. Young Graper is relying on atrium power cells your life might be depending on not running out. 
there is another larger power cell that you can carry with you at all times. Okay. Collect the power cells. Anytime you want to use them, activate your Bifrost personal display system for oh. instructions and to keep track of how many you've collected. Okay, so we have these, so I'm guessing these can be used as refuel. So we have three big cells and then that we can use to power each individual one. And then the RFID keys, I'm guessing, looking at this, this was corresponding with one of the runes that we had. What is this, though? Oh! Okay, so we have five power cells now, so we gotta be on the lookout for these refuelers as, in case we can't find refueling stations. Um, so I'm guessing until we learn a new rune, like this one has the number two on it, yeah, that won't work. Oh, that's so cool. It's universal, though, so we don't have to keep collecting Valkyrie hands, which we did run into the first episode, and that definitely creeped me out. So, yeah, so I'm definitely enjoying this. Um, definitely getting vibes of Doom 3 or um, Alien. Ahead of you, you will find a door that is locked with an RFID signature you don't have. But now, that won't be a problem for you. It's the same as the earlier electronics, but the mechanics of the door needs a little finesse. Use your sight to see the mechanics inside the door and time the burst to get through. What? I love how he knows all this. Um... Oh, that's cool. It slows down. Okay, so probably a zoom out would be good. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and run. Wait, do we have... Yeah, we do have... We can go back here and charge. I'm going to keep my cells a little bit more. Um, no, we only have the power cells here. No, down the ladder. Yep. <clears throat> I just, I feel like I should conserve my power cells just a little bit when we have this so actively ready. Does that recharge, though? I don't know. Maybe. Can we, like, power run up here? Guess not. Yeah, Alice is doing well. I'm psyched. I actually, I want to play Unforgiving since this is done by the same company. I know I'm kind of playing in reverse order, but you never know. I like seeing how games go and then see what they've come from. That's just my take on it. Okay, so let's go back here and then zoom in for a power shard. Oh, sod. Well, third time's the charm, I guess. Whoa. Okay, so cancel that. Uh, oh, okay, cool. So let's... Zoom in. Come on. You can do it. Bam. Cancel. I should be using this chart, uh, the site just a little bit to see if there's any other Easter eggs we can do. I'm guessing we'll have to go through. Can just blast that out of the way, maybe? Guess not. Okay. Oh! You know what? No, we're not going to use that. We've already had to use two up. Let's just go ahead and follow the game and just see what we can do to break it. Okay, uh, everything seems to be working again. Where were we? Right. Uh, our world, Midgard, is sharing its existence with eight other worlds that are all connected by something known in the legends as Yggdrasil. The world. When we started researching the travel between worlds, we used technology to tap into a magical artifact known in the legends as the Atsu, controller of the roots of Yggdrasil. This made it possible for us to safely travel to other worlds. Something came through one of the roots. Spirit. It took control of the Absolob and our system, causing an emergency override. The facility was completely sealed, and the roots started to break. We need to reverse this by collecting the nine artifact keys originally made to control the artifact and the roots it brings forth. But Henrik has traveled too much unprotected. He almost died from the sea and wouldn't survive going through another route. You are literally our only hope of stopping this. Without those keys, the roots and nightmares will take over our world. The fire giants will... What? Sarah, Henrik, 
I'm not thinking that thing. Sarah? Shit. Listen. We know the location of one of the keys. Ahead of you is a route that will take you to Niflheim, the ice oh, hole. Oh, oh. Every moment the route spread further into Midgard. So find the key and come back here as soon as possible. Please hurry. Now I know according to Scandinavian lore is that we just did a big donut, didn't we? Is that Yggdrasil, being the fact it's a world tree, could connect to other places. Asgard, Mimir, probably Niflheim. Okay. Helheim, also known as Hell. That kind of thing. Okay, I don't like this having how you have to click out to. Come on. Uh, I've already got the side on there, so. I guess this side is contingent upon the circuitry. So, how do we? How does Heinrich know that each area is connected? I mean, that's what I would like to know. Like, how did? I mean, how has he traveled to all the worlds? To Niflheim? To Helheim? I mean, does he have everything coded off? I mean, this is this smacks just a little bit too much of knowledge but I could be reading too much into this and I'd kind of like to see more this really is going to adapt kind of like the Doom 3 concept I kind of like to see more interaction with the enemies because so far the only thing we've really done is sneak around but now that we have Jan Greiper, I kind of want to see how things go burning through these orbs like crazy I'm hoping we really need to work on your stat, on your uh, fall damage. Um, let's go up here really quickly. Okay, so that's probably the door that we tried to get through. Probably can't go through this one. I still want to test everything, though. I like... I, normally, these like sci-fi fantasy bleed-overs aren't really my thing. Um, I think they could be a little bit too over the top, but so far, these things aren't doing too bad. I can dig it. Um, oh. There's that black hole we saw in episode one. But now we know it is actually Yggdrasil. Okay, so onto Niflheim we go. That is a cool fast travel sequence. I don't know too much about Niflheim. Like, um, once again, as I've said before, Scandinavian lore is not something I know terribly much about, uh, particularly of the giants. But after this, I think I. Well, that's convenient. Dump us out here. And how are we gonna get back out of there when it just spat us out? But okay, cool. We got a save point. That's good news. I like how they're all scattered about in close proximity. Oh, hang on, is this an audio? Message for Dr. Henrik Anderson. Dr. Brian Roberts, Nivelheim Operations Supervisor. Minor progress report on Nivelheim Outpost N502. Construction is moving along according to schedule. Procedures after the complete destruction of N498 are Lovely. implemented and seems to be working. Building is strictly held to crevices. The amount of noise is held to a minimum, and outposts are working 24-7 to avoid the attention of the natives. <laughs> However, the morale is very strained after the 48 casualties at N-498. Worst of all are the sounds of the natives. It travels for miles through the infinite night and fog in this dead landscape. You mean the giants? It just kills you to the core. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, they still, in this world of ice, they still managed to make a couple of puns. I can, I can respect that. So, how big of the giants are we talking about? Are we talking like the trolls that I've seen it through the, well, we're about to just find out. Okie pokey. Yeah, definitely giants. I don't think Jan Greiper is going to work too well on that. And it really wants me to get, makes me want to get back into playing Pray for the Gods. 
Once again, I really wish Shadow of the Colossus would have gotten ported to a PC. This means that I'm about to see about getting the maid to uh, oh, let me borrow the system sometime. Huh? If she still hasn't. Anyway, okay. So for those that are more well versed on um, Viking mythology and lore, if you guys can give me a go, no go of Niflheim really is a plane of ice and snow. Um, I'd really appreciate that, and I'll do some studying as well. What? Okay, never mind. For some reason, I thought we just got a lot smaller. I guess we're just going deeper into the canyon. Now, I get it. On a quest for knowledge, you want to see what everything there is to be seen, particularly if you've happened upon ancient Nordic relics. But here's the thing. After every sci-fi movie that people have seen or recorded, you'd figure there'd be a little more respect for their surrounding areas. And I'm not saying that as a critique for the game, even though there are some tropes in this game that I find a little bit too predictable. You just figure, have a sense of morality. Find alternative route back to Midgard. You don't say. I already figured that because I don't think we have jumping boots. Let's conserve my... I only have four orbs plus the uh, two Jan Griper that are already stockpiled, so I need to find some more cells, so... Into the office. Um, can we search these lockers? We have another save station. Hang on, um... Looking for triggers that we can open. Anything in the boxes? Let's go in armor. Let's go and save our progress. Yeah, I love the interactions for this. I think they're really well done. Oh, we have another, um... Audio. Ooh, hang on. Ooh. I promise you, I have gathered a lot of data on the key's whereabouts. I'm this, <laughs> this close to finding it. I, but the road home, I, I can't get to it. Not with that, that thing outside. Lovely. I, 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 I don't know how much more of this I can take. You have to send someone to find another route. My feet are starting to... to uh, 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 <laughs> I can't feel them anymore. Uh, that ain't good. I didn't think so. Um, so what else can we do? I feel like... Can we... Hang on, um, no, we can't go through there. Oh, hang on, derp, you twit. Once again, anybody that knows more about runes, please let me know if anybody can translate them. Okay, so we're gonna go for a double tap. Bam. I'm probably being a little too frivolous with these cells, but I feel like... I'm gonna need them for something sooner rather sooner rather than later. And what is that? Is that another save point? Maybe. Is there anything else we can explore over here? Once again, still nothing. Something's happening over there. Um, hang on. Ah, ha, ha, ha. And no fall damage either. Good God. So apparently that's an Absolov key. And a jump scare I did not anticipate. Well done, game. I'll give you that one. It is atmospheric, I'll give him that. Ooh, yes! Ha ha ha. I think Alice is starting to enjoy her role a little more cells. Brilliant. 
I do like how it's sec. Oh, brilliant. The bog. Now we can actually play the game. Anything in the toilet? Uh, apparently we found a collectible. I'll take it. Then guess they tried to flush it. That's, uh, okay, so. Is that beeping noise? Something's there. Oh! Okay, so there was an RFID tag in there. So now we should be able to... Yes, we can! Okie pokey, now we're getting somewhere. And I still need to know what that is over there. The game's prompting us to go back up here. So maybe now we can... Nope, we just did a full circle. Oh, that's gonna bother me. So I'm guessing we have to... Well, no, now that we can go back down the ladder, there's those other doors that we can utilize, I think. That was, I believe, what we're looking for. Wasn't there another door we could use? Um, yes, here we go. So we can go that way, or we can go this way. Let's go and see. Normally I'd be thesis seeing it, but I want to... This door looks the closest, and I don't want to be outside too long since we saw one of the giants. I don't think Jan, Jan Grepe can do much. I don't really know what could actually work when fighting, you know, giants of yore. Just a possibility. Nothing in there. Um, anything up here? Okay, so I think this room is done. And then let's go ahead and cross the frosty plain. Uh, wow, this place is massive for an OP. At least I'm guessing it's an OP. Yeah, because, you know, that's smart. Just oh! Okay. Just gonna go ahead and hide. Uh, I don't know what that gaze is, but I don't like it. And I'll keep. Oh, okay. Um. What am I supposed to be doing? So I'd stay out of his line of sight. Yeah, you get mad, bro. Hang on. Um. No. We have to. I feel like when we fall, we're completely screwed. Oop. Okay. Um. Do we? Uh, apparently we do. Let's... Okay, I feel like if it spies us, we're screwed. So... Yep, we're screwed. Um... Oh, we're back here. just happened. Yeah. Let's... So, I'm guessing that place is like a well of souls where we have a chance to come back to life, but we had demon thing attacks. Interesting. I do like that replay value, so it keeps you in the game constantly, but I'm guessing it gets harder and harder to every time you die to put that stuff around. Okay, so, um, so we've only got one RFID. We've done all of this. Okay. okay. So we do need to go 
back up there. Keeps Frosty on that one. Oh, that's cool. They still have the orb. She still has the orb in her hand, even when doing actions. Sweet. Nicely done. Okay. I'm guessing. Okay, that's probably a door when I think about it. So that's like an I spy kind of thing. So. Yep. Yeah, that's what that is. No. Something else over there, but it'll probably be some sort of door mechanic. I'll take that. Yon Gray for that. And this time we'll save. Before we uh, deal with Frost Giant. But now we know we have an overall thing that got a little bit too hasty. And that's okay. Got greedy. Now we can do four pulses. It's got more cells. That's a three door, so we need a three. What the hell was that? So what about that thing over there? Oh, that's probably door three. Or something that's hidden behind there that we have no access to. Okay, maybe we can access that once we get out of this area? Maybe. Now y'all understand why I serial save so much. And bonus points for my own alliteration. Let's try that again. Okay, so now we can pulse our way over here. We sprint over here. And we stay out of the blue gaze. I believe there are some. Yep. More cells here. More tags. In there. Thought we had. Okay, that was the only thing. So we have four cells and six power cells. So I'm guessing we have to trigger the ice giant. And then down we go. I wonder if we'll actually be able to explore uh, Cert's uh, domain, Fire Giants. Uh, it's convenient that it stops right there. Over there. Now I know what that cracking sound is. It's ice forming. Come on. Nope. Nope. Hang on. Back there. That's gonna come closer to me. It's gonna go there. There. Go. In here. Okay, so it doesn't see us here, so it can't destroy us. Okay, so we're out of its gaze. Why is it focused over there? And as much as I would like to explore... Ooh, there's Yggdrasil. What is this, though? I can't do anything with that. Let's say we 23 spew out here and head back to, um, Meat Goddard, shall we? What? Yeah, just go ahead and... Did you just punch the giant hand? Dude, you're awesome. She, no sods given, she just punched a giant in its hand. Definitely a Viking warrior. That's that's my deduction. She definitely was a, of the Lagather ilk. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it sure as hell looked like it. This game's a little bit linear for my tastes, but you know what, we'll go with it. I haven't been playing for that long, so... And I do love how it's always a vertical... You made it back alive. As, as soon as we lost connection, I thought... I can see you on a camera feed. Ahead of you, 
in Absolove Research. There's an elevator that you can take to me on floor B1. I've marked the elevator so you can find it with your sight. Oh, good. There's probably a lot of things to explore in Absolove Research, but don't stay for too long. Don't insert the key into the tablet until I've analyzed it. Okay. Please hurry. So if we insert it before it's analyzed, did we just completely... You know, start the or jumpstart the end of the world because that's my thought process. This is good. There's more to explore then because I was just about to comment that it seems a little bit too linear, but most horror games are linear. I mean, through the woods seems a little linear, but with ooh, ah, so how will we know then? I mean, we just stop to scan everything. Um, Gucci. Once again, was that Fenris or Fenrir or just a jump scare? Can we go that way. Um, yeah, um. Let's go ahead and see if we can go this way really quickly. Okay, so we can go multiple paths. So let's go ahead and for the sake of things, let's just anti-thesis it so we can explore all avenues. We, can, we don't even have a map really. Okay. Okay, we need to keep the sight on. That's for damn fact. Something's peeking. Old tissues. Anything over here? And please, no more spiders. That'd be grand. Um. Well, I'm trying to, but apparently it won't let me. I'm guessing we have to power it up then. Or it's already unlocked, I guess. It's there for a reason. It wouldn't let us open it. Ooh, hang on. Pathology research. Note four. With Dr. Henrik Anderson and my lovely wife. <laughs> Dr. Sarah Anderson. The power of the hammer of the god is on a whole other level than anything discovered before. The hammer is powering the entire facility and it's more stable than anything else of this strength. Even the power cells charged with it has a huge amount of power. And we've decided to call the power Atrium after the creator of the hammer. Not only does Atrium have the attributes described by Henrik, it also has a lot of magical potential. I, uh, I don't know how to describe the phenomena scientifically, but Atrium has a terrifying effect on certain creatures from the myth that are affiliated with darkness. When it was wielded by Thor, it must have had an enormous destructive capacity. No wonder the gods are described as feared by everyone in the Nine Realms. Well, throwing the fact that the gods were also apathetic, from what I've gathered, uh, except for their own self-preservation, um, I not 100% sure this is confirmed or not, but it was almost like uh, Viking warriors would believe that everything was already pre-done. It was faded. It was almost like a Calvinist version of predestination, which explains where one got the other from the other. Got it from the other. Mythology research, note five. There are many gods from the myths, which seem to have ties to the things we are retrieving from the other worlds. We have items from Odin, the Allfather, and his son, Thor, the god of lightning. We have also found proof of the existence of the immortal Baldur and Freya, the goddess of fertility. And we have some leads on Hel, the goddess of death. Lovely. Mimir, the keeper of the Well of Wisdom, and... and Loki. There it the is. God of mischief. Of course. That one worries me a bit. You, you don't say. What? Um. Okay. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm like, what is going on here? So we're taking a transport to another part of the facility. 
I guess. I kind of feel like the devs weren't 100% sure they wanted to be focused on lore, horror, or sci-fi. And decided to blend everything. But what is this? This, but there's a load of the skulls. Pathology research, note three. The information me and Henrik has unearthed is just as astounding Henrik as mentioned I. in the previous notes made by Sorry. Henrik. One thing I just had to note was a story depicting an enormous wall built to protect Asgard from the outside world. The story talks of the gods making a wager with a giant. The wager was that if the giant could finish the wall within a set amount of time, he could marry the goddess Freya. However, when the giant was almost finished, the gods cheated. And to add insult to injury, Thor crushed the giant's head with his hammer. This wall that is described in the Younger Edda doesn't seem to be a wall at all. It's a statue capable of shutting out the roots of Yggdrasil and opening them to the one in control of it. Hmm. I fear that this statue is exactly what we have here in the facility. So... The Absalov. So the Absalov is... Great. So now basically we're in control of Yggdrasil. And there's no point... Until I get... In... No point in opening both sets of doors because we only have one cell left. And five that means five bursts. Look at this place. Okay, now we're getting a little more free roamy. I can dig that. And I love how it's kind of distorting as we're right here by the central route. Like the light's getting all shifty. That's pretty cool. I can dig that. Um So we're going to have to do a lot of door puzzles, I think. This one, obviously, we can't do anything because we don't have the rune for that. Whoa. Hey. So that's the elevator. So we need to go to B1. Hang on. I'm not done yet. I guess we will have to um try one of these really quickly. Uh. So, third time's the charm with any of them. But now... What is in this room? Or maybe is this just paved- we're doing this so we can pave the way for other things? Or shiny objects? Oh, hang on. Ah, whoop! Or just collectibles. There we go. I saw a collectible here. Ah ha ha! Eat it! Okay, cool. So, I believe we've explored everything we need to explore. I think we have. Um, we have one burst left. That's not good. Um, yeah, so let's go take the elevator down. Let's find a safe point, and I think we'll be at a good stopping point. Um. Yeah. Okay. What? Okay. No, we gotta go to B one. Never mind. Bollocks. Well, let's explore the B. research. Let's go and just look around here really quickly. See if we can find anything good. I feel like until we go to Dr. Anderson, we're relatively safe. And the bottom won't come flying out. Ugh. Plus, I want to look for cells. Anything in here? Nope. That's got some sort of ID coding. Okay, so we'll need to find a number for that gigantic gate. Um, 557... 
this way. Okay, so we need to power something. Uh, lots of doors to power. Not enough cells. Maybe we can do something over here? Yep, maybe over here? Come on. I mean, this is my own issue, was that I'm not good with the door puzzle. Snappy with it. Nothing here. Unless... 557, hang on. Um, let's try that really quickly. Nope, never mind, that's a four digit. Um... There we go. That we can go into. We've had lots of difficulties maneuvering the other eight worlds of Yggdrasil to find the artifacts that we need. That is, until now. Henrik found out that magical beings can see on a spectrum that is invisible to mere mortals. Mm, like me? And with artifacts and knowledge brought home from Vanaheim, Henrik has managed to infuse this magic into an augmented reality implant, making the spectrum visible to the user. And this is an amazing leap forward to unlock the secrets that these worlds are holding from us. Yeah, that still doesn't go well. Okay, so we need to find everything. Okay, so now we have come full circle. So we need to go to B1. And Henrik. And see what happens. Ooh! Nope. Great. Remember when I said that I thought we were safe? Uh, apparently we weren't. You go and stay there. I'm gonna go ahead and run down here. Where did you come from, scumbag? And I'm also out of pulses. They pack a wallop. And apparently zapping them does not do anything. That does not bode well. There we go. B1 we go. Can't do anything here. Here's the elevator. Absolute research. research. There. Whoa! Okay, saved by the snout. I don't think that was Fenris. <laughs> well, well done, game. Well done. So I guess next. So we're back to where we began, I think. Now, do we ever have a chance to actually meet Henrik, or are we just gonna have to keep seeing him on comm? What is that? Yeah, you gonna do that? Let's go ahead and see just what's around the corner here, and then I think we'll call it a session. I want to know what that creature thing is. Um, that's more Yggdrasil. Oop. Ugh, damn it, Henrik. Do, do you have it? Oh, magnificent! Praised be Odin and all of his sons. Oh, you've done well. I almost died. And but I... you didn't. And now you're taking the first step in my plan to save this world of ours. Oh, you're full fun and clans. Yes, but... Now, I... now, there is much I have to show you. And, and time is of the essence. At the end of the hallway is a room. The key code is 3425. I'll direct you once you've entered the room. Please, leave questions for afterwards. Now go, 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 go. 
Three, Questions? Four, two, five. Where do I even begin? Let's go run back over here really quickly and let's geek to the seal. And leaky this. What? Dr. Lisa Spencer, oh. supervisor. Day 12 of tablet analysis. Dr. Anderson brought an artifact holding an engraved sphere in some form of magnetic energy field. The text delivered with the sphere suggests that it's a soul stone. Something meant to replicate and store the soul of any higher being. There are accounts of time anomalies and split realities that they are impossible to read at the time. I know soul stones are wild, widely used in different things, but it's another messed up thing, uh, save point. But I don't know if they were actively used in Scandinavian mythology. I could be right, I mean they could be, or it just could be a trope that's often thrown about. Let's save again. Let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Yeah, three, four, two, five. There we go. That's... This clears a lot of things up for us. Thank you for bringing the key back. You're, you're welcome. And thank you for fixing my arm. Yeah. I assume you have no memories of your past, and I bet you're wondering who you are. Oh, well, boy. so am I. But I'm locked out of the facility's main database at the moment, so if we make a quick detour, then- Henrik! Thousands are dying every minute, and you're talking about detours? We need to know, Sarah. I need to know what happened to her. Don't put the girl through any more than she has to, Henrik. Don't make her do <sighs> this. We, we have to figure this out. The emergency system severed the connection between most of the systems and the base. You need to go to the medical research facility and approve a remote link to grant me access to the information we need. I would do it myself, but I'm not strong. We've noticed. I'll show you everything you need to know on the way. Okay. So, so much for a room. And I guess we're going to be doing a little bit... I really hope there's not a Kraken or anything in these flooded chambers. Yep. I know Kraken's not... I don't think it's traditionally Scandinavian. I mean, particularly the word like Kraken. But I've also been playing a lot of... Oh, lockers. Clothes. Come on. How about a cult? Ooh. Ah! things in the facility are always handled with extreme caution, while some <sighs> just aren't. We're hundreds of meters below the surface in northern Sweden. Okay. If something happens, it could be hours before help arrives. Above that, some of the artifacts clearly emit energy fields that could be a potential long-term health risk. The statue in the center of the facility has hundreds of people walking by it all day. Not to mention the gigantic hammer that was carelessly placed in a room where serious scientists, including myself, are working unprotected right next to it. Duh. My PDA tablet was low on battery this morning, but when I got back to my quarters, the battery was almost full. This just can't be right. There's a lot of things that aren't right, Doctor. Um, what else? Anything down here? Yeah, probably. Just gonna be a little more careful now. We've pretty much done some walking simulator stuff. Pe nope, I don't want to climb that. We need cells. Warning, high voltage. That that's good news. Uh, oh, sweet breath of life. Time to charm. Hang on. Um. Oh, so it does recharge itself. That's awesome. So we have another cell box. Yes, and another one on the table too. Hallelujah. Now it's some portable cells.
I apologize in advance if I have to keep doing the backtracking to the atrium station. With that hanging out there, I'm gonna use do everything that I can. Just use this continuously and save my power cells. Because we only have two. And now we have three, six bursts available. So, let's explore everything here. Get better at this. Oh, yes! Keep using that. And there's another one over here. Yeah, let's go ahead and blow this one. Here. Yep. Jump over here. Charge this. I haven't played an action based hard game in a while. Um, action like this, that is. So I apologize. Before ahead of you, there's a battery. In case of a facility wide power failure, they can be charged to power equipment in smaller areas. Young Gamer has the ability to remotely charge these batteries with large and small bursts. When you're done with it, you can just take the energy right back, like any power station. That's good. This will make the area go dark again. Okay. <clears throat> so. Okay. Okay, um, yeah, so that powers up, so let's go ahead and do this. I don't know how long we need that door open. Cycle the door. And we're in a pitch. That thing Ooh. stopping your path is a brave, a ghost of a northern giant. It's time to show you the weapon in Yan the last level, right before it overloads, is used to destroy evil magic. Oh, good. But be wary. Different creatures will react differently to the power, so be careful when using it. Use the large atrium burst to destroy the Jotun Wraith that stops your path. Just got it pissed off, so hold until then. Stage two, I'm guessing. What is stage two then? Um, I thought it was just great. Now, can we use this for all sorts of things? Stage two, then release. Do I have to get closer? I kind of like to keep my distance from a U2 and a Wraith. Just saying. Okay, so I just had to get a little bit closer. So this is definitely a long, a close range weapon. Okay, that's good to know. But look how much atrium it uses. That ain't good. Nope. Ah. And so we need to do. What if we can use on those? <clears throat> Don't forget that while you're charging the arm, you can cancel the charge at any time to avoid overloading it. Good to know. Here then? Maybe. Hang on. Um. I feel like we're about to play hide and seek with some stuff. So let's just look at our options. None while the site is there. So let's be a little bit frosty. Yeah. <laughs> see. Yep. I guess we're gonna play the floor as lava now, aren't we? <laughs> yep. Or not. 
I'm terrible at this. Um, by the gods, I see that ahead of you is a whole lot of vermin. Great. The myth describes them as trolls. We accidentally brought them back from Midgard on an expedition to retrieve a mythical harp from a magical creature which we destroyed. Back then, they were blind. But when they started spreading here, they, uh, they evolved. And now, they aren't blind anymore. Great. And they're aggressive and fast. Always be ready for the large pulse of Jalgrepa. Okay, so with... Why is it always trolls? I'm already dealing with them in what's it called, and... Through the woods. I want to recharge that. Ugh. Come on now, I just watched The Descent. It's a good movie, by the way. I mean, it's the first time I've watched in a couple of years. Horror Company used to have that as part of our regular horror movie rotation. Now, this I can really appreciate is this constant darkness thing. Because it really puts you on edge. And I think that's the one thing that... A lot of horror games do well, and other horror games don't do so well. Um, once again, for example, Amnesia The Dark Descent. You have to be very conservative with your tinder and your lantern oil to... ...make sure you don't get destroyed by the gatherers or other monsters. Yoink. Take that. Dang frosty, because I haven't seen any trolls yet. Uh, oh, hang on. The power cell here. Be just a little bit greedy and take that. And then fall back down. There's like a one second delay from what. Ugh. Come on. Come on, get up there. There we go. She's not able to jump too high. Yeah, okay, so we have a decent amount of pulses. Ambience here is great. I do appreciate that, the sound. And there's another Wraith. Oh, we have another Atrium Station. Brilliant. Ah, eat it. Oh, that's cool that we can't turn around while we're using the atrium station. That's really cool. Adds that bit of humanity to it. Oh, I hear ya. I wonder if we can actually... Okay, so we can't actually... We can keep a charge going. We have to keep holding down the trigger. a gigantic door seal. I mean, probably we have to release. Um, yes, yeah, so we have to go that way. Just looking at all options. Yeah, I've been playing for about an hour. You should probably find a save point, and then that's a good place to call it a sesh. But, I hope you all have enjoyed this as much as I have so far. Um, once again, I feel like it's a little bit, a lot of blending of a lot of different things, and that's not a terrible, but it's still a lot to get used to. I'm trying to figure out what I want to focus on more. But it's well designed, and I really do give them credit for that. Well. I feel like something's about to happen. So the atrium power station we go. Up we go. Uh, 
and chewing on the power cables. Somebody, somebody figure out what that means for when we- Oh, hi! That would be a troll baby. And troll baby was not my nickname at high school. Or if somebody's planning to buy the advising, dry baby! I guess in this case, troll baby! Okay. Have our next threat in this game. Ew, they're vicious mothers. I do like how the health recharged itself, and there's not like a health station or anything like that. I, I can appreciate that. So we gotta go this way. It's good that we can use it here. Why do we have to go the way that it's going? Demonic cherub. back out. We back out. No, I want to go up. Not... Okay, never mind. So we are going up. There we go. I kind of feel, I feel, I sympathize with Alice. She's definitely having a bad day. I am glad we're getting back into the hard swing of things. Can't do anything here. Through the door. Now, what makes Dr. Anderson so weak? I mean, besides the fact he's the tropetacular scientist. Anything in the bins? Nothing we can take? Let's not go through that door just yet. Let's see if there's anything. We can take for our own possessions. Nothing, so onward and upward. Power low, you don't say. Just oh, we got another power state or save station. Kendrick, Brilliant. What am I looking at? That, that is the source of the power you are wielding, and the thing powering the whole facility, Mjolnir, the hammer of the gods. What? You can charge Young Draper on the energy outlets on the hammer. And don't forget your portable power cells if you end up without power suddenly. <sniffs> After this, you might lose connection as soon as you go into the upper level, so uh good luck. Thanks. So on that note, I think we're gonna call it a night. Um we've accomplished a decent amount. It's nice to actually have some form of a weapon against these fools other than just ducking and diving to run away. Um, so we'll pick back up when we're power up the facility and see where we go from there. Once again, thank you all so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, once again, if you have any feedback you'd like to provide on the lore, mythology, uh, any tips and whatnot, I read every comment and I try to reply to every comment. Also, once again, a massive thank you to the sponsor of the Boogie Night Project, Christoph Frey. Once again, if you like really well done atmospheric uh, low poly horror games definitely check him out his work is fantastic i played every single one of his games and i can't wait for his next project so of course with that being said before i call it a night if you like the boogie night project and you want to find out more i do have a twitter page as well as a public discord channel and links to both of those are in the description below as well as a link to my public discord channel and if you're so morbidly fascinated and interested my patreon account so otherwise, I hope you all have a fantastic evening, and I'll catch you on the flip side, alright? Peace.